<sighs> Late night shift again. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Please be on the lookout for a sudden log in the road. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God, today just couldn't get any worse. <sighs> just fuck me in the ass. <sighs> That's all I need, man. Just someone to just fuck me right in the ass like this fucking job fucks me right now. Oh, my God, wait, who are you? <sighs> Oh, I just love these late night drives. Who knows what kind of groovy mysteries we're gonna solve tonight? Yeah, and I'm totally excited. I say we solve the mystery of like, who's got the best tits in the van? Come on, ladies, whip them out, bang bros, bus style. Whoa, hold up. Oh, fuck. There's some guy laying down on the road over here. Let's investigate. Poor guy, what do you think happened? Oh my God. He smells like raw butt sacks. Zoinks, it's like a total crime scene here, dude. There's a bunch of blood and cum back here in the back seat, dude. Sodomy murder. Time of death, 12.47 a.m. Hey, wait a minute, he's not fucking dead, Velma. No, I'm alive. Here, take this, children. Solve the mystery. I'm dead. What does that say? He just died. Afraid so, Scoob. And we got our fingerprints all over the place. Correction. Time of death, 12.48 a.m. It says here, I, the ghoulish butt monster, have struck again. I lurk in the shadows right behind you. If you have a nice ass, I will find you. He crashed his car just down the street, eh? Well, it's a good thing you kids decided to drop him off at my house. I'll, uh, take good care of him. Yeah, thanks. It was that goddamn ghoulish butt monster that got him. The ghoulish butt monster? Why, I thought that was uh, just a myth. You know, they say that he enjoys the natural wetness of a man's rear, how the balls bang up against one another like Newton's cradle. Whoa! <laughs> say no more. We will get to the bottom of this mystery. Thank you for watching over this man for us. No, children, thank you for giving me such a... Fine specimen. We get tired, yo. We get tired, yo. We get tired, yo. Oh, hey, this, yo. We get tired, yo. Oh, my God. What, what the fuck happened? Do? Lights out. This is perfect. Come on, guys. It's time for a good old fashioned anonymous pitch black barn buttfuck session. Everyone strip down. Come on. I'm so fucking down for that shit, dude. Ready to get fucked all night. Holy shit. It actually worked. Well, I don't know how the hell you kids solve this one, but, uh, uh, great job. When I get out of jail, I'm going to murder all of you children. I highly doubt that Officer Johnson would let such a thing happen. Right, Officer Johnson? Uh, Officer Johnson? Ooh, nice bling bling. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, fuck, finally some action. Keep blowing, fat boy! <laughs> It's a nice laboratory you got here, sir. You mind if we ask you a few questions? Yeah, dude, like where were you last night around 11 o'clock? Ah, yes, uh, last night. It's all rather fuzzy, but I do remember bits and pieces. I was here working late in the lab, trying to create the unthinkable. Oh, like what, dude? I was trying to create my own brand of soda, the refreshing taste of Mountain Dew, without the shitty, nerdy video gamer stigma attached to it. But after I drank my beverage, I realized I fucked up and drank my own pee and I got dizzy and fell. Thank God my loving wife was there to slap me back to consciousness. And here I stand before you today. Oh yeah, and then I found this priceless one-of-a-kind jewel in my pocket. Don't know where it came from. A convincing story, doctor, but that doesn't explain why your shoes are covered in feces. Yeah, because you're fucking dog shit in my lab. Was it me? 
Oh boy, you kids sure outdid yourselves this time. I don't know how the hell you figured out this one. It was rather straightforward, really. I first started with the hypothesis that perhaps the one-of-a-kind missing gem from the museum matched the gem that Mr. Stevenson had in his pocket. And after doing just a few minutes of research online and corresponding with the police, we quickly found out that he was indeed the thief, none of which, which would have been possible without the help of his wife, Grace.